Hey gang, and welcome back. Today's patron shoutout goes to Sparky. Thanks Sparky for supporting the channel. In today's game, we've got a Battle of the Universes Beyond decks, and I've borrowed Felix's Wise Mothman deck, keeping Greater Good, Island, Tainted Wood, Toxor the Corrosive, Exotic Orchard, Rampaging Yogai, and a Talisman of Resilience. Felix is playing Galadriel, keeping Ant Queen, Jorael, Moonvali Recluse, Bloom Tender, Exotic Orchard, Scattered Groves, Canopy Vista, and Torin, Fists of Angels. Marie is playing her Kaiser deck, keeping Cathar's Crusade, Esper Sentinel, Fervent Charge, McCready, Lamplight Mayor, Shine Shadow Snarl, Diamond City, and Vault of Champions. Last but not least, Max is playing Sauron, keeping Dragon Skull Summit, Training Center, Reanimate, Ash Barons, Entomb, an Island, and Apprentice Necromancer. I win the die roll and start us off. Before we get into today's game, I want to talk about the sponsors for my channel. Card Conduit is the best way to sell your unused magic cards. Whether you've got a box of unsorted bulk or a complete and alphabetized set, there's a great option for everyone. With a payout averaging 19% better than using any one buy list, and that's after fees are applied, you can rest assured you'll get the best bang for your buck. If you're a skeptic like me, their easy customer service and detailed reports make the whole interaction transparent and safe. And if you use the affiliate link in the description below, or the promo code MTGMUDSTA, you'll save 10% off their fees. And 401 Games, Canada's one-stop shop for trading cards, board games, and hobby supplies. Not to mention an easy to use and great online buy list. And if you use the promo code MTGMUDSTA, your first purchase of MTG sealed and singles will be 5% off. And Dragon Shield, the strongest sleeves for your strongest deck. So be sure to use the code MUDSTA or the affiliate link down below to save 5% on your next order. I draw and play an island. Felix plays a tap scattered groves. Marie plays a Vault of Champions and pays one white for an Esper Sentinel. Max draws, plays a Training Center, and then cycles Ash Barons, going to find a Swamp. I draw and play an Island. I then cast Talisman of Resilience and am unable to pay for the Sentinel trigger, letting Marie draw a card. Felix has an Island for turn and just plays Bloom Tender and passes. Marie plays out a Spectator's Seating and then casts McCready, Lamplight Mirror, and passes to Max. Max has a Swamp for turn, and casts Apprentice Necromancer. I draw, play an Exotic Orchard, and cast Soul Ring, not paying the one. I then cast the Wise Mothman, and give everyone a Rad Counter, and I pass turn. Felix draws, and then mills a card for his Rad Counter, which has him not taking any damage and keeping the counter. He then plays an Exotic Orchard, and casts Torrens, Fist of Angels. He passes after that. Marie draws and plays Diamond City. She then plays a Skull Clamp and follows up with Talisman of Hierarchy. At this point she remembers her Rad Counter trigger and she mills Thalese, losing one and getting rid of it. She then moves the Skull Clamp onto McCready and passes to Max. Max draws and mills Terminate, losing his Rad Counter. He then plays Dragon Skull Summit. I draw for turn, and then mill spark double to lose my rad counter. I then play Tainted Wood, and cast Roll, Troubleshooter. Which once he's out, lets me cast the spark double that I just milled. Max responds by casting in Tomb, and paying the one against the Esper Sentinel, and goes to find a ravenous Chupacabra, putting to his yard. He then activates the Apprentice Necromancer, reanimating the Chupacabra, and kills the Mothman. This has the spark double come in as a copy of Raoul, and I pass to Felix. Felix has a Canopy Vista for turn, and he then plays a Galadriel, and gets to make a token off of Torrens. Going to combat, he swings Torrin at max for two, and passes after that. Marie draws and plays a Mountain. She then casts Kaiser, and goes to combat, swinging McCready at max. She gets a Kaiser's trigger, and sacrifices McCready, making two tokens that are tapped and attacking, and draws one and loses one. She also gets to draw two from McCready dying with a Skull Clamp, and Max then takes the hit from the tokens, losing two. With nothing else, she passes. Max draws and plays an island. He casts Blasphemous Act and pays the one for the Sentinel, wiping the board. He follows up by casting Reanimate and steals Felix's Bloom Tender and passes back to me. I draw and play a Path of Ancestry. I then cast Tox Roll and I move to my end step, putting a slime counter onto all the creatures on the board that my opponents control. This kills the Bloom Tender, 
and I get to make a slug from Toxroll and pass. Felix draws, plays an irrigated farmland, and passes to Marie. Marie's got a cliff drop retreat for a turn, and she casts a Keeper of the Accord. She then equips it with a skull clamp and passes. Max draws and plays an ancient tomb. He casts a combustible gear hulk and picks Marie with the enter the battlefield trigger. She lets him just draw the three, and Max passes. I draw and play a Lanawar Wastes. I then go to combat and swing Toxerl at Max, but he chumps with his Gear Hulk. Because the Gear Hulk has a counter on it, I get to make a slug as it dies, and after combat, I cast Greater Good. I then cast Find, returning two creatures back from my graveyard to hand. I then pass, and Marie makes a 1-1 one -one on my end step, but it gets killed by Toxroll, and I make another slug. Felix draws, and plays Talisman of Progress, and then passes to Marie. During his end step, Marie's Keeper of the Accord dies to Toxroll's slug counters, and as it dies, she gets to draw two, and I make a slug token. Marie draws for turn, and plays a Grimcline Pathway, and then casts Vervent Charge. With nothing else, she passes to Max. Max has a Luxury Sweep for turn, and he casts Scholar of the Lost Trove, which as it comes in, casts Reanimate. The Reanimate targets the Ravenous Chupacabra, and as it comes in, he targets Toxroll. I respond to the targeting, sacrificing Toxroll to greater good, drawing 7, and discarding 3. With nothing else, Max passes. I draw for turn, and play a Swamp. I recast Mothman, but Felix is ready with a Counterspell. I then just cast a Farseek, going to find a land, and passing. Felix draws, and plays a Forest. He then recasts Galadriel, and passes to Marie. Marie draws, and in her main phase, casts Cathar's Crusade. She then plays a Morbid Opportunist, which as it comes in, gets a plus one plus one counter from the Crusade. With nothing else, she passes. Max's main phase has him casting a Sepulchral Primordial, and he brings back Toxroll, Master Biomancer, and Esper Sentinel, and then moves to combat. He swings the Scholar of the Lost Trove at Marie for 5, and then moves to his end step, and gets the Toxroll trigger to put a slime counter onto everything. I draw and play Sunken Hollow, and recast the Mothman again. We each get a rad counter, and I then cast Spark Double as another copy of Mothman, giving the table a second rad counter, and passing after that. Felix draws, and then mills two, and takes two, losing both of his rad counters. He then casts Jorael, and then as she comes in, scries two from Galadriel's ability, and gets to draw a card. Felix then makes a cat token from Jorael, and casts three visits, and passes turn. Marie draws for turn, and then mills two, but only hits one non-land card, so she only loses one life, and one rad counter. She then equips the Skull Clamp onto her Morbid Opportunist, which as it dies, draws her two. She then plays a Mountain for turn. Marie then taps out for Martial Coup, putting six into the X, which resolves, and takes Toxrel off the board, but Max does get five Slug tokens. After doing her public service, Marie passes turn. Max draws and mills two, hitting one non-land, and losing one and a rad counter. He then plays an Arcane Signet into a Rakdos Signet, and then plays Wayfarer's Bobble. With pretty much all of his turn being just ramp, Max then passes to me. I draw and mill two, losing both of my rad counters as they're non-land cards, and I take two. I then play a Tainted Isle, and cast a Nuke and Nuke Launcher. I then follow up with a Mothman again, and give everyone another rad counter, and pass. Felix draws, and gets rid of his last rad counter by milling a non-land, and loses one. He then casts Farseek, and follows up with a Delighted Halfling. He's not done with mana dorks, playing out on Birds of Paradise, and passing. Marie draws for turn, mills two, and hits one non-land card, so she loses one rad counter. She then plays out a Godless Shrine untapped, and casts Mirkwood Bats. Max responds to the bats by casting Chaos Warp, and targets Cathar's Crusade. Unfortunately, this flips into Impact Tremors, which is just as dangerous. We all then take one with a bat entering, and Marie then recasts Kaiser. We take another one as he comes in, 
and moving to combat, Marie swings her soldier tokens at max. Moving to combat, Marie swings her soldier tokens at max, and picks the two modes of sacrificing a token to make two attacking ones, and has Kaiser deal 7 directly to max. With the soldier tokens coming in, we take 2 damage from the impact tremors and the Mirkwood bats, and Max then chumps the big soldiers with his slugs and takes the rest. With nothing else, Marie passes. Max draws, mills 2, and hits one not land card, losing a life and a rad counter. He then casts Sauron and mills 5, amasses 5, and reanimates the Scholar of the Lost Trove. He uses the Scholar to cast Blasphem and Act again, wiping the board and passing to me. I draw and mill 1, getting rid of my last rad counter as it's a non-land card. I then play a Bygone Marvels and get back Toxroll, Spark Double, and Zelix. I then cast Zelix and play out Raoul, suiting him up with a Nuka Nuke Launcher and passing to Felix. Felix recasts Galadriel in his main phase and passes to Marie after that. Marie draws her turn and then mills a land which has her keeping her rad counter. She then plays and cracks an Arid Mesa losing one to find a plains. We then see a white glove gourmand come in, and she makes two human tokens with it, and the impact tremors deal enough to Max to take him out. Marie then continues, clamping a token. After that, Marie plays Craig Boone, and then Bush Deloria, and passes turn. I draw, and recast the Mothman yet again. We all get a rad counter, and I then activate Raoul, making us all mill a card. The Mothman gets a plus one plus one counter from me milling a non-land card, and after that, I pass to Felix. Felix draws and mills a creature card to his rad counter, which gives me a horror from Zelix, and I get to put a counter onto Mothman. Felix then plays a Paradise Druid, adding three green from Galadriel, which he then uses the mana to cast Ant Queen. With it coming in, he gets to scry two and draw a card. He then passes after that. Marie draws and mills two non-land cards to get rid of her rad counters. She then plays a swamp and casts vats to kill the Mothman yet again. And follows up with Kaiser once more. Going to combat, Marie swings everything at me and sacrifices Bush Deloria to make two soldier tokens. With them coming in, we take two from Impact Tremors, and I then take two to the face. And we then move to blocks. I block the Gourmand with Zelix, and Craig Boone with a Slug token, and take the rest, dropping to eight. With nothing else, Marie passes. I draw and mill a non-land card to get rid of my last rad counter. I then replay Toxroll, which has Felix responding by activating Ant Queen, making a token, and scrying two, and drawing a card. He then makes another ant token, which puts a plus one plus one counter onto his team. After Toxroll resolves, I cast a spark double and have it come in as a copy of Toxroll. I then swing Raoul at Marie and trigger the Nuka Nuke launcher and she takes the hit. After combat, I cast Power Fist and then pass, which triggers my Toxrolls and I get to put two slime counters onto each and they get minus two minus two. With some stuff dying, I end up getting four slug tokens and pass to Felix. Felix draws and casts Kadama's Reach, going to find a land for hand and a land for the field. He then goes to combat and swings his creatures at me, which I block in turn with Tox Rolls. Felix then follows up with a farewell, picking all modes and exiles everything on the board except for lands. With nothing else, he passes. Marie draws and plays Ellis Ill Core and then casts Boom Scrapper. She sacrifices the junk token to exile Ishin off the top, who she then casts. She then plays out a Yes Man and passes to me. I draw and play a Psychic Corrosion. I then cast Cathedral Acolyte. I also played a Vexing Radghoul and passed to Felix after that. Felix draws and plays an Island. He plays out Champion of Lamholt and follows up with an Incubation Druid. And then Talrand, putting two plus one plus one counters onto the Champion. Marie draws her turn and plays a Plains. She then replays Kaiser and follows that up by casting Intangible Virtue. Going to combat, she swings out at Felix, sacrificing Yes Man, which has her making two tokens, and has Kaiser deal the damage directly to me. Kaiser triggers again thanks to Ishin, which has Marie sacrificing another token, making two more tokens, and has Kaiser deal the damage to my face again. She also gets to make two junk tokens from the Boom Scrapper, 
I also die from the Ellis trigger, seeing creatures dying on Marie's side of the board. And Felix then moves to blocks. He stops Ellis with Talrand. The Incubation Druid goes on the Boom Scrapper, but still takes the rest. With nothing else, Marie passes. Felix draws, but with nothing in his hand to stop Marie's onslaught, knows when he's beat, and scoops it up. Game review time. This game was 1 hour, 27 minutes, and 15 seconds. And once more we got to see the power of Kaiser in action. This game was an even better interpretation of him, because basically Marie ate a bunch of board wipes and was still able to recover very easily. His ability seems always good, either making you a bunch of tokens, drawing you a card, or blasting face. On the flip side, it felt like I cast the wise Mothman like seven times, and he either didn't get a chance to attack, or was straight up countered, and or destroyed. It's unfortunate, because I was really hoping to smash face with a big Mothman like Felix was in that other game. I thought the Sauron deck that Maxim had built probably performed in some of the best capacity that I'd seen it. Unfortunately, he also struggled a little bit, and Toxel really shut down his board state until he stole it, but then lost it as well. I will say that now having played and played against Toxel in the same game, might I add, I can see how it really warps games. Unfortunately for Felix, it really set him back, as basically he wanted to have a lot of creatures to go wide and trigger Galadriel, which meant they were often smaller. This meant the slime counter from Toxel was going to be constantly fighting against him, and he just couldn't keep up. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, but it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.